What's going on guys? Orza here and welcome back to a brand new video. So today we have got the new Summer Stars Raheem Sterling card to review today. A player that if I'm looking at correctly has 5 star skill moves and a 5 star weak foot with 99 pace, 97 dribbling, 96 shooting, 92 passing and the 80 physicals as well. Could we be comparing this Summer Stars, this summer stars Sterling to a Neymar? Low key we could because the stats look incredible and he also has got 5 star skill moves and 5 star weak foot. But I'm not going to get ahead of myself because you know seeing stats and playing in game could be a whole different story. So we keep that you know we keep that to a side for now and we'll probably go back to it right at the end. So he is a 5 foot 7 player, high medium work rates and as I said 5 star skill moves and 5 star weak foot. Now when it comes down to their chem style I feel like a lot of people... Could be going for the marksman chem style when it comes down to this card because of that strength. Giving hit this guy 90 strength could be absolutely incredible. But the thing is, the sniper chem style gives him a lot of shooting stats. So you're giving this guy 99 shot power now. Giving this guy 99 long shots. You're also giving this guy 91 volleys and 89 penalties. While also boosting up his strength to 85 and also boosting up his aggression to 80. So for me, I do feel like the Sniper Chem style is the way to go when it comes down to this Summer Stars Raheem Sterling. So the pace, he has got 99 acceleration with 99 sprint speed. So, you know, we can tell this guy is going to be pretty fast. Now his shooting ability, 4 out of the 6 stats are 99. The only ones that aren't is the volleys and the penalties. So the volleys is 91 and the penalties is 89. Has he got any shooting traits? Unfortunately, he does not. Now his passing ability, pretty impressive, I must admit. Like the passing... Didn't really expect it to actually be that good, but it looks top tier, doesn't it? 95 vision, 91 crossing, 73 free accuracy, 98 short passing, 80 long passing with a 90 curve as well. When it comes down to his dribbling ability, saying that he's got 5-star skill moves and he's not like the tallest of players either, I'm expecting him to feel amazing, literally amazing on the ball. So his dribbling is 99 agility, 99 balance, 97 reactions, 98 ball control, 98 ball control, sorry, 96 ball control, 98 dribbling, and a 90 composure as well. If we are talking at the physicals, he has got 85 jumping, which is, you know, pretty good, let's say, but he's 5 foot 7. Is he really going to go ahead and win a header? Most likely not. So he also has got 91 stamina, 85 strength, and an 80 aggression as well. 85 strength on a Raheem Sterling is something I thought we would never see, but it's something you love to see. Now, when it comes down to the links for this guy, City, aka Premier League, and also English. So the links are also amazing, but me, I've just gone for icons because why not? I've got R9 and your boy Dalglish just to get him on full chemistry. Now, when it comes down to the positions, two positions, striker and wing position in a 4-4-2 and a 4-2-3-1. So let's get into the games. Give it to Vieira. Is Sterling going to give me that passing option? He is. Well played. It's nice and quick turns. Go for a few step overs. See if I can. Oh my god. Like the dribbling. Like look how close he's keeping it to his feet. My opponent really, really doesn't know where I'm actually going to go. And I overdo it a little bit. And uh, the guy kind of tackles me. Right there though. It kind of gave me like flashbacks of the team of the season Lionel Messi. That's team of the year Lionel Messi. Where he's just like turning is just spot on. Turn here. Nice, well played. Sterling, flick around a corner, use that pace to get around him. Flick it again. Oh my god, the pace. Turn him. No, referee, surely. Wow, that's a clean tackle. You can clearly tell though, the pace is going to be a problem. Give it to R9 here. Raheem, are you going to make that run through that gap? He does exactly that. The touch nearly, nearly screwed me. But the guy on the five-star weak foot, a beauty of a finish. I think the keeper did come out right. I'm not 100% on it, but it was placed right into the corner either way. Play down the line here. Sterling, are you going to get onto it? You are. Keep it going. Keep it going. Maybe go for a quick ball roll. That's unreal when it comes down to the strength, though. How is he jack? How? Can I score? Nah, I can't score. That would have been a very, very jammy goal, but I would have took it. Wait, hold up. He's actually coming short here. All right, let's fake shot this. Go for a few step overs. Are we in through the gap? We kind of are. A few step overs backwards. I feel like I'll overdo a lot of stuff, don't I? Wait, is it worth it? That's the real question. What? Who who was that that just got nutmeg like that? That was so rude. I cannot believe we have just scored that goal. Oh my god. Good scoop turn. Sterling actually redirected his run and it's he's pretty much through on goal. Full roll. 
The keeper didn't dive early. That's all on me. I screwed that opportunity. But that run from Sterling was literally pinpoint. Like he was making a run up, realized that, he, you know, there was a better run down and instantly switched direction. Wait for it. Pass to him now. Go for the dummy. Go for that turn against Alfonso Davis. Can I get in front of him? And that just tells you. That tells you right there how fast this, car, this guy actually is. This card is sh stupidly fast. The fact that he outpaced team of the year, Alfonso Davis, is mind-blowing. And you can already expect the pace when it comes down to the rating is most likely going to be a 10 out of 10. James Rodriguez going forward here. That's a nice ball roll. Dummy this with Sterling. Well played. Flip flap. Hill to hill. Can I go jump? What is happening? What is actually happening right now? Like, how does the ball even flick up there? And how have I just scored a bicycle kick from a pretty far distance as well? Vieira played that ball down the line because I see Sterling making that run. Raheem Sterling against Alfonso Davis. He does well. He does really well. Cut it into the inside. La Caqueta. Bro. The dribbling was too fast there to me to actually kind of go forward a little bit and then take that touch. I did not expect him to take that touch literally instantly. Nice. That's a good pass. Fake shot. Give that through ball to Sterling. Can I get around that corner? No, I just can't get around that corner. In those kind of occasions, especially against someone like Team of the Season, Lacroix, I definitely do feel like he will struggle because of the strength. And can I get around this side? Well, he keeps nutmegging people, by the way. That's something, something I'm noticing. With these fake shots around the corners, like the running fake shot, he keeps nutmegging everyone. I think he's done it to like, Alfonso Davis. He's now done it to that player. I'm not sure which one it was. Give him an RBA. I like how Sterling actually came short there. He actually pushed towards me. Let's see if we can go for this LBY. Oh my god, look how perfect that pass is. Surely Neymar gets onto it. He does. Can we see if we can maybe get this into a goal? Look at Sterling, by the way. Did you see that movement? He's the one that did that pass. Next thing you know, I'm controlling it with Neymar and he's already given me a passing option. Give it to Alfonso. There you go, Sterling. Turn him maybe. Really good fake shot and really good power shot straight into the corner. I'm not sure which goalkeeper that actually is in, in, the, in the net, but... I doubt he's going to save it anyway. You could put Oblak, you could put Neuer, you could put whoever you want. That was a beauty of a power shot. Sterling on the ball. Nice little turn there. Go for an LBY. Keep in mind, by the way, I didn't even take... Hold up. Hold up. Oh my god, that actually went in. I have no idea how that actually went in, but we take those. Did you see the pass? Sterling didn't like take an extra touch. He didn't like make himself into that like, sell himself pretty much into the pass at all It was literally turn instant pass all the way to the other side and it was pinpoint perfect Fake this. Oh my god. I didn't expect to go around like that. I must admit Simbra Flick it to the right side. Go for a volley Boys, I don't know what to say at this stage. I'm literally beating this guy 7-0 and you've seen some of the ridiculous goals I have scored against this guy. I've scored a bicycle kick. I've scored volleys. I've scored literally everything. So it is time to review. And we ended up playing two games with Raheem Sterling. And we ended up scoring ourselves eight goals. While also getting ourselves a single assist as well. There was nothing this guy couldn't do. I'm going to be honest. There was points that I was literally shooting at hard angles. Expecting him to probably miss. And he ends up still putting it into the back of the net. Like that volley right at the end. I didn't expect that to go in. I was just doing it for the sake of doing it. Just to see how good it actually would be. Next thing you know, it's in the back of the net. I could not believe how good his shooting actually was. And the five star week for as well was amazing. Having that comfortability, let's say. To be able to turn on either foot. And knowing that the power, the accuracy is going to be spot on every single time. Was simply amazing. So do I believe this car? is worth the 2.8 million coins I picked him up for? Yes. Is he going for way less now? Yes. So I've lost a lot of coins. It is what it is. The car's worth it either way. Now let's get straight into the ratings pace wise. You saw this guy outpace Alfonso Davis. Alfonso Davis. And you already know that guy is insanely fast. So for the pace, a 10 out of 10. Shooting ability. You saw it. I don't really need to need to kind of explain anything about his shooting. 10 out of 10 for the shooting. Passing abilities. Passing was top tier. It was definitely, definitely up there. So for the passing, I would say, I'll probably say like a 9.3, 9.4 out of 10. Dribbling ability. The guy felt amazing. The guy felt some, like someone like Neymar. 
So dribbling, 10 out of 10. And for the physicals, his physicality was nice. Not like anything crazy. He was still a player that, you know, got pushed off the ball time to time. But there were certain occasions that I was seeing that strength come into play, which was really well played for him. So for the physicals, I would say, I'll probably say like an 8.3 slash 8.4 out of 10. But an overall rating out of 10 for Raheem Sterling's Summer Stars card, it is going to be a 10 out of 10. He 100% deserves it. He's an absolutely amazing card. Amazing card. And I'm telling you guys right now, if you somehow can afford this card and you can fit him directly into your team, go ahead. Please go ahead. Trust me, he is one of the best cards in this game hands down. But I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, make sure to leave a like, make sure to leave a comment. But for now, peace.